people around the ring. This is a one fall singles contest. And who's seen first in the black and orange trunks, ladies and gentlemen, he is Jordan Taylor! <laughs> And his opponent in the black and red, ladies and gentlemen, he is Zach O'Brien! And I hope the referee ate his carrot today. He's going to need great eyesight in this one. People all over the ring. And Zach O'Brien's not exactly a sportsmanship kind of guy. Bell sounds, ladies and gentlemen, we are underway right here in Paris, Tennessee. First time I've been in Paris, man. I like it here. And you got like a McDonald's and some barbecue places. It's great, man. If you got a chance, please make sure to stop by and walk around this beautiful fairgrounds area here. Calling up a type to start us off. I don't know how well that's going to wear off for joint. Well, look at that. Was able to get a leverage advantage there. Coming off there, Zach O'Brien is, of course, our TIWF Heritage Champion. He decided not to bring his belt with him today because he said if he's not defending, he's not going to add the extra weight. He doesn't need any more extra weight, but nonetheless. Jordan Taylor, a top prospect here at TIWF, looking to make himself a top contender by taking out the Heritage Champion right here at nine. Zach O'Brien rolls out of the way. I don't think he was expecting Jordan Taylor to be come out on fire like this and the referee doing the right thing they're trying to keep him off of him while oh Brian's out Brian's out Brian's outside the ring and inside the ropes now the referee is doing it's correct in that trying to keep Jordan Taylor back Jordan 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 on the outside there Zach O'Brien's manager, Casey, and she's guarding the stick. Meanwhile, I'm not sure why he's not here, but Alex Cross keeping a close eye on the situation. He represents the family. He is one of the tag team champions. Also not defending the night. Also did not want to bring the extra weight. It's hot out here, y'all. Once again, Jordan Taylor now getting that side headlock, but O'Brien does have a, a unique advantage over Jordan Taylor. Oh, wait! And like he needed any more. I mean, ref, referee can only call what he sees, but he can't see behind him, and that's exactly what, exactly where that took place just a moment ago. And it, well, it, speaking of, there is our majority owner, shareholder, whatever you want to call him. He is the man that started this all the way back in 1992. Has been in Trinity, coming up on. 15 years very soon. That's Rennie Bird giving the giving some smack talk to Alex Cross. Looks like he's getting on the phone with somebody over there. We've got to keep an eye out on that. Meanwhile, O'Brien is putting that leg right across the rope. And we saw earlier, referee has been very hands off. Oh, come on, keeping, keeping the action off those ropes, but he can only do so. What is this? Oh man! I think Alex Cross was trying to adjust that uh, that knee pad. But I'm not sure how much of that was full contact the side of Jordan Taylor's head. Meanwhile, we saw what was taking place behind the referee's back. I mean, Zach O'Brien's very vicious. He's very good in the ring. I don't know why he's brought Alex Cross out here. He does not need the help. He does not need the support. He chooses to do it. I think that makes it so much worse, personally. Come on! Look at that grandma by the hand, just whipping him across the rain. Oh my goodness. Alex Cross uh, trash talking, calling Jordan Taylor a boy in a man's sport. I disagree. I think Jordan Taylor has been very impressed, especially the last year during this unprecedented year we've had TIWF and across the world. Oh, man! Double stomp. Look at that. That's a knee to the, to the face. I'm surprised the ref let that count. Jordan! 
Oh, come more like a choke than a pen attempt. Come make me. Jordan now firing back again into the midsection. Second like row. Whoa! That explosion of speed from Jordan Taylor. Look at this. Oh! That's what separates him right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. What? Watch this. Oh! Tiger faint kick around the ropes. There we go, cover me too. Oh, come on. I don't know if O'Brien's gonna be able to kick out or not, but I know he had a little uh little weight assistance there. Oh, come on! Referee getting on an Alex Cross and missed uh Jordan Taylor changing octaves. You need a soprano singer. I found one for you. My goodness. Oh, Brian's just... He doesn't need to do any of this. He, he won plenty of championships and matches without this bad attitude he's put upon himself lately. Look at that headbutt. I feel like his war with Chase McCoy took, on, the, took the best of him and made it the worst. We'll see our TIWF champion in action later tonight. A little bit after our intermission again. Again, using the Harris leverage. Look at that breakage. Up and over. Oh, my God. Cover. One. Oh, and okay. KC got on there. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Come on. Not like this. Not like this. Come on. Cover me. This is ridiculous. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Zach O'Brien.